Hey everybody, Jeff Brozovich here from Long Range Only. And today we're going to take a look at the Macmillan A6 stock. This is new from Macmillan and it's got some pretty neat features. We hope to go over them all here in this review. So the A6 is just one of the many uh, A series stocks from the Macmillan family. And uh, what what it probably closest compares to would be the A5 that uh, has been such a great stock for years. And what they've done is they've tried to make this more versatile so we could use it in a lot more disciplines, uh, a wider variety of disciplines, if you will. So some of the things they've done here would be they've removed the texture from the grip area and the side, and they've added flat spots on the bottom and two sides. This makes it more adaptable for your tripod mounted systems if you want to put it in a saddle or something like that. And it also allows a good flat bottom to use on barricades. The A6 is also an ambidextrous stock. You can mount it and drive it from either side. Have your action fitted left or right hand accordingly. It can also be purchased with or without the adjustable cheek piece. And the adjustable cheek piece comes with a variety of different uh, locking devices. You can get a, a, a round knob like this one, or you can get an Allen screw, and several different choices there, as well as you can choose to have just the decelerator pad like I have here, or you can also get it with an adjustable butt pad as well. There are also many options you can order on your A6, uh, depending on exactly what you want to use it for. One would be location of flush cups and how many you would want, either on the side or at the bottom. You can also order it with a series of different length rails for the front, so that when it comes, that'll already be installed and ready to go for your bipod if you use a rail-mounted bipod. The other thing is you can order with the pillars installed. I like to buy it with the pillars installed. They're installed nice and straight and flush, and they're in there ready to go, so I can uh, either if I choose to bed my stock or not. McMillan says, you don't need to bed these. If they're ordered custom and it fits good, their experience is the rifles shoot just as good without bedding as they did after they bedded them. And of course, when you order your stock custom from McMillan's, you will have it inletted for your specific action, your barrel lug, and your barrel channel, as well as inletted for the type of bottom metal you plan to run. These are fitted for the M5 type with detachable mags. One thing I believe is commonly overlooked when choosing a stock is how it actually fits and what it encourages you to do for your form. One thing I've noticed specifically about these is the relationship between the grip and the trigger location. This stock encourages me with my large hands to use the pad of my finger because the relationship and distance from the front of the grip to the trigger is right for me. It also gives me a and encouraged not to wrap and grip my stock, which I've become pretty fond of just relaxing that thumb right there below the safety. It's just a natural fit for me, and I've really found that it's really helped me with my trigger control. Now this rifle is my Voodoo 22 trainer. I'm setting up the exact same rifle in a center fire in Six Creedmoor that's being built by Snowy Mountain Rifles. That'll be my competition rifle. By using the same exact stocks and everything, my training with the 22 is really going to help me when I do go to the competitions and shoot my centerfire. And of course, you can order your McMillan stock in a variety of different colors, this being Carbon Ambush. I've got them to match because, like I said, these are a matched set of rifles, one trainer and one used for actual competition. The other thing we need to talk about is all the different fill weights McMillan has for their stocks. So I weighed this one, as you can see here, it weighs 2 pounds, 15 ounces. That's with the adjustable, without the bipod, obviously. Um, but, uh, so it's a nice weight stock, but you can adjust that. You've heard of people adding weight here or there for their needs, uh, whether it be a PRS rifle or whatever they're doing, or I shoot some ELR with this one, and I prefer to have my weight in the back. So what they can do, they have, I believe, there's nine different weights of fill. So the fill being the, the composite used inside of the stock. So they can adjust that weight and put it wherever you want it or where you need it by the different types of fill they use in the stock to give you the weight or the balance you want depending on how heavy a barrel you're running or what it may be or how you want it to ride a bag or a rest. In summary, I just want to say that I've been shooting this A6 stock for over a year now. And what it has done for me through 
proper balance, fit, and ergonomics, it has encouraged me to be better with my trigger press and more consistent when I mount the rifle each time. The quality of these stocks are unmatched. They're, they're just as good as you can get, and that's why we recommend McMillan. So I suggest you take a look at these and take a strong look because this is the real deal and it will help you be a better shooter. So I hope this uh, review has been informative. I hope I covered everything you wanted to know. Come see us on longrangeonly.com and uh, if you have any questions, there'll be a thread there for this review or you can ask questions and if I missed anything, I'll be glad to answer it there. Once again, this is Jeff from Long Range Only. Have a good day.